Chapter Fifty. Oh, life cycle. The day you are born is the day that you begin your journey towards death. For what is born must die. Those who live a natural long life are the followers of life. They have thirteen paths. Those who live a natural short life are the followers of death. They have thirteen paths. Oh, those who should live a natural long life, but die young, they too have thirteen paths. Why is that so? Oh, they try to temper life too much. They die of the desire of the thirteen parts. Oh, the humble one, what are the thirteen parts? Oh, man, everyone have two legs, two hands, and nine holes. They are the doors through which desires enter the body. Oh, no fear, I have heard that. He who knows how to live long, can walk on land without fear, or rhinoceros and tigers. He enters the battlefield without being wounded by the soldiers. Oh, no desires, for in him the rhinoceros can find no place to thrust their horns, tigers no place to use their claws, the soldiers no place to pierce their blade. Why is that so? Oh, newborn baby, because he has no desires to harm any creature, the ferocious animals don't attack him. He has no excessive desire for material goods and beauties, and therefore he avoids the death land of the thirteen parks. Oh, we have only one life to live. Don't you be afraid of death. Don't indulge yourself. Be a baby instead. Love life. Love long life. Da. Hi. Ah,、uh, this is Luke Chen. I'm、uh, here in the beautiful scenery in Yangshuo. That's the about three hours from Zhongshan. But anyway, today I want to talk about. A lot of students ask me, "What is the difference between Tai Chi and Qigong?" All right. Now, if you are, I assume you are now a Qigong practitioner.、Uh, so,、uh, if you doing the Zhi Neng Qigong or Qi Liao Qigong, uh, uh, you just stationary there. You are not moving. Either you put your feet together or separate. So,、uh, all you moving is just the hands. Okay. Just the hands, and、uh, all the rest is just stationary.、Huh? Just stationary.、Huh? So it's very easy to do. Very easy to do. Okay. Very easy to do. And because you have your feet not moving, but Tai Chi you move the feet. Okay. You move the feet. So you have more variables. You move. <laughs> so you you move. You move more. But but actually,、uh, the inside is the same. So if I What is inside the same uh, means uh, it's basically release, absorb, breathing in, breathing out. Qi Gong or Tai Chi is all about the breath. So you know, use the mind, introduce the breath, and then move your body. So if I move my hands like this, so in Qi Gong, if I move my hand like this, okay. So from the shoulder, elbow, wrist, you move like this, and <laughs> and Tai Chi. You move. You start to step on your feet. Okay, I wonder you can see. You step on your feet and just start to move. You might be the same movement, but the legs is involved. Now, why is that? Because Tai Chi, the intention. So when you move one hand like this, you like striking people. When you kick, you move. You move your body. So the intention is、uh, for self-defense. Now, because the movement the same, so you breathing in. Breathe out. You <laughs> even use the the breath to control your body. All right.、Uh, so because、uh, by doing that,、uh, you are very relaxed and get the benefit of healing.、Uh, it's good for healing, for good for all the people. So in China,、uh, a lot of people、uh, starting to do slow movement, but slow 
It's just like Qigong. When you move your hands, not just move your hand. You from your Dan Tian, remember? The lower Dan Tian, the Ming Man, and then the middle Dan Tian, shoulder break. The hand, the tongue, so it's straight line. So the upper Dan Tian, one straight line. So it's the same. So you move, it's the same. So every movement, release, absorb. The Qigong, release, absorb. You're thinking the same movement. Where your hands, where, where's your, your back, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and every finger going up. The feet also doing the same thing. Now, when you're doing, uh, uh, but when you're doing the Qigong, you have an intention for healing. Just relax, healing, release, absorb. So you're not thinking about any martial self-defense aspect. But however, when you start with Tai Chi, when you're doing this, you imagine people, you pull the people's hand down, pull hand down and get kicked. <laughs> yeah. And then you start to punch. But <laughs> but the movement is controlled by the thing. Moving in, pull out. So in the Qigong, you, uh, Qigong, you can move your hand out, move back, move forward. But you think the blue sky, body. Blue sky, body. But in Tai Chi, you push people, you pull back. So it's uh, <laughs> the self-defense mechanism. So the hand, you like somebody punch you, you block and you punch. Now in Qigong, you just open hands and pull Qi down. So the intention different, but the mechanism, but the thinking is the same. Uh, except your intention uh, uh, is different. Now, uh, Tai Chi is very difficult to learn because you start with move the hands, legs, hands, together from inside. The low down then up, and then if you're not coordinate with your breath, with your mind, then things looks like, uh, looks like you're doing Tai Chi, but you're not doing it, all right? But Chi Gong is different. You can sit there and push out, you think blue sky, you're coming back, <laughs> you think body inside. So go in and out, and then you get the healing effect. Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, the healing effect, the, the healing, the internal organs, the kidneys, uh, the liver, and so on. You know, when you bend down, you're going out like this. So you, in turn, you know, the healing. Uh, it was, uh, uh, met, uh, you know, a lot of people doing the Qigong, so uh, build up the experience. It's good. And Tai Chi is really different. When you're going down, you pull down. So you pull people down, you punch back. <laughs> so the intents are very different. Uh, uh, however, you, I love both, actually. If you ask me, I love both. Uh, one is very soft, meditative. The other one is more into uh, motion, into the intention. So, uh, uh, but either way, very important tips for you guys. In Qigong, it's not, you know, uh, relax, resume. No, you turn. Huh? You turn, so looks like I'm not doing anything, but it's turn, twisting, twisting. <laughs> I, I, all, I used to do joke about it. Oh, you know, uh, 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 all my classes, more women than men come to classes. Why? Because men intuitively think, oh, whoa, relax, relax. You know, that thing, you know what thing I'm talking about. When you relax, it's nothing there. You <laughs> scrap, okay? But if something you can, uh, so the Taoist, the, the, the tradition, you must turn like school. You know, a screwdriver, you turn. So very soft, but very strength. So every movement, uh, even though you're doing Qigong, the movement, a lot of strength into it. Uh, looks, doesn't look like it, but it's all twisting. But if you really, uh, uh, if you see a, a practitioner have no strength at all, or just <laughs> really, so, no good. You need the string, okay? Either way, Tai Chi or Qigong, you need the string. But what the strings for is the different uh, Qigong and Tai Chi. But of course, you learn uh, Qigong is much easier. Why? Because you fit together or feet apart. So you fix your feet. You just move your hands. <laughs> There's not too much going on. But Qigong, uh, Tai Chi, then you start to move uh, left direction, right direction, the front kick. Down, um, so it's many movements, all right? Uh, uh, please, you know, if you have any comment, please let me know. And I, I have a website if you, uh, 
uh, uh, if you can support me, appreciate, uh, come to my website. Uh, if you want to learn more, maybe sign up, all right? And I, now I'm stationed in <laughs> Yangshuo right now, or Guili, and it's, it's a wonderful place. Come to visit, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.